NanoCAD draws polygonal objects like regular polygons and rectangles. You can find up here, home tab of the ribbon. So let's click rectangle and see what happens. To draw it, you just click two points indicating the opposite side of the corners. Drawing a polygon is a lot more complicated because, first of all, you have to tell NanoCAD how many sides you want. It can be anywhere from 3 to 1024 sides, which almost looks like a circle. When you draw a polygon, you have to keep a close eye on the command prompt area because there's a lot of important stuff happening there. First of all, NanoCAD asks how many sides you want. Let's do six to draw a hexagon. And then it asks you to either specify the center or the edge. Quite frankly, I prefer the edge option because it's a lot simpler. So let's type E for edge. And then pick the first point of the edge. And as we move the cursor, you see that the polygon grows and decreases in size. And if you angle the cursor, the polygon also goes off at an angle. So let's just draw it like this and then look at the other options of the polygon command. I repeat the command by pressing the spacebar. This time let's try a five-sided one, a pentagon, and then specify the center of the polygon. So I'm going to click right here, and then you notice there's no ghosting. That's because NanoCAD wants to know one more thing. Do you want the polygon inscribed or circumscribed in a circle? Inscribed means that the corner points, such as these over here, are inside a circle whose radius you're going to specify. Circumscribed means that the midpoints of the polygon will touch that circle. And now it asks for a radius. And once again now as I move the cursor it changes in size and orientation. You can see the radius line there going from the center to the corner of the polygon. Rectangles and polygons are made out of polylines, and so they can be edited just as polylines are. If we select it, we see there's two types of grips, a square grip and a rectangular grip. The rectangular grip lets us move edges of the rectangle. Selecting the square grips changes the shape into a quadrilateral. Similarly, in the polygon, I can move the edges to suit. When you select one of these entities made out of a polyline, you can come over to the properties bar and change some of the properties. So for example, I can make the width of a segment variable, or I can come into global width and give all the segments the same width. Further down, you see the properties bar reporting the overall length of the quadrilateral and its area. NanoCAD shows a second way to draw a rectangle using three points. And this is good if you want to first of all show the width of it and then the height of it. Three points, one, two, three. But if you look at the command line, you'll see there's a bunch of other options. Let me go through some of them. The first one is chamfer and it lets you draw rectangles that have chamfered edges. So I'm going to put in a first chamfer value distance of 10 and then another one of 30. Now when I draw the rectangle, you can see that it's pre-chamfered. Similarly, you can draw it instead with fillets. So I'll enter an F for fillet, and then give it a fillet radius of, say, 30. I now draw the rectangle with those fillets. Earlier I showed you how to use properties to change the width of the polyline segments. You can draw with that width right from the get-go. So I'm going to enter in a W for width, and then 10 for the value. And now when I draw it, it has both fillets and width. After you pick a first point to draw a rectangle, a new set of prompts appear at the command line. You can specify the size of rectangle based on its area, pre-specify dimensions for the length and the width, and assign a rotation angle. Let's see how the area option works. So I type in A, and it asks me for the area, and I'll go with, say, 500 units. And then it wants either the length or the width and it'll calculate the other value based on the area and the value you enter here. So I type L for length and then a value of 100. So there we have the rectangle with an area of 500 and a length of 100. <music>